Miot International Cecil y el hospital avec le résinetien sorti Chennai. De le passé, Miot y n'en a une relation presse avec le ministère de la Santé quand les patients y a de l'aine pour traiter. Mais avec l'impact COVID-19, c'est difficile pour envoyer les patients qui ont besoin de faire l'opération ou les autres procédures dans l'aine. C'est là que l'hôpital Miot a décidé d'établir un poste pour soigner les yeux de Cecil pour faire des procédures spécialisées. Ça l'hôpital a ouvert en janvier 2022. Le ministère de la Santé, des Seychelles et des Miot Hospitals Chennai, India, a une relation qui va plus loin de 20 ans. The Ministry of Health has been sending patients who cannot be treated in Seychelles to India every year. However, over the pandemic, it was not possible for patients to come to India. And we decided to look carefully at some area of treatment that could be provided in Seychelles instead of the patients coming all the way to India. And that's why we started with ophthalmology, simply because it was fast to set up despite the supply chain problems during the pandemic and an investment of around 1.2 million US dollars was sufficient to open total eye care this year in January. Un bon service spécialisé qui ont offert côte miote et consultation pour administrer anesthétique. Anesthétique y aide patient pour de bonnes procédures que je vous donne beaucoup de l'air. The hospital here in Seychelles is only for eye care. And uh, it opened in January, and uh, we presented a six-month overview of the hospital. So uh, one of the highlights of the hospital is that the patients get anesthetic consults before their procedure, as well as specialist uh, medical consult from super specialists if they need their disease to be controlled before their procedure, as well as a follow-up appointment after their procedure, all of this free of cost as well as to make the service accessible and affordable to a wider section of Seychellois. Uh, a proportion of the salaries that are being paid to the specialists who are here full time is underwritten by the mothership at Chennai Miot. And therefore the savings over six months passed on to the people of Seychelles is around 250,000 US dollars. Le ministère pour la Santé reconnaît que la COVID-19 a un impact sur le département de la santé du pays. Et c'est à cause de ça qu'ils ont une faire recherche sur le bon point faible qu'ils sont capables d'améliorer la qualité du service de la santé. Le ministre pour la Santé, Peggy Vidot, dit qu'il collectionne les formations sorties du secteur privé et est très important que les aides du ministère travaillent sur la bonne police plus crédible. As we move forward in terms of health, we need to be um, collecting more data from the private sector. And this is an area where we find that uh, we, have a, we have had over the last few years a lot of um, new services being offered in the private sector, and we encourage that. We feel this is important for people to have choices. We feel that we need we need to have the complementarity in terms of health. But as a, as a health system, as a national health system, we need to know what is going on. We need the information so that we can make informed uh, decisions, so that we can make informed policies. Earlier on, Dr. Babi mentioned that we need that. We need it within um, eye health. We need to know how many cataracts are being done, but we also need to know how many other uh, conditions, eye conditions, are have, you know, we have within the country, so that as we prepare, as we uh, develop policies, we can address that. And earlier today, we were just talking at another function. Monsieur Mohanda Sidi, qui avec COVID-19, ils ont pas assuré qu'ils ont plan pour l'avenir. Mais on reconnaît que soin pour cancer, il y a quelque chose qui a besoin de plus de ces cellules et ils ont souhaité qu'ils soient capables de faire ce service dans l'avenir. It's very difficult, really, for us to envisage what is going to happen with COVID-19. In the middle, it looked as if the world had won over COVID-19 and the numbers were dropping drastically. The big uh, scenario in Seychelles in terms of disease is cancer care, diagnosis of cancer and radiation therapy. This is one of the things that we are keenly looking at. And depending on how the investments flow in and the appetite that is available, it is possible that this is the next step in Seychelles.